Hey guys, what's up? It's Francis and Dead. Tonight I've got hit by a piece of new, by a new piece of inspiration. So I would like to share it with you guys. Let's say, um, let's say, the first time when you like to make a presentation or you are required to make a presentation at uni, you always feel nervous. You always panic. You you tend to panic because you have your mind are blank. You um you feel like you feel unprepared and uh, have very little to to present. There is actually um there is actually a way you know to 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 train yourself up on such you know in, in response to such issue. Well, first of all, you can take a look at the uh, ELTS speaking test band descriptors, the public version. If you um if you wish to uh, to achieve uh you know a sound presented power um PowerPoint, you will need at you will need to at, at least you you need to know at, at least how to how to use a wide range of um, verbs, adverbs, flexibly. You will be able, you, you must show the competency in producing a majority of error-free sentences with only very occasional inappropriate, you know, with only an uh, occasional amount of inappropriate languages. Or basic non-systematic errors, um, and uh, also note the uh, lexical resources. You better use. You better be able to use a wide vocabulary resources readily and flexibly to convey pre pre precise meaning and less common and idioms vocabulary. You know, also with flexibility, with with only occasional inaccuracies, and uh, it's always a good idea to paraphrase. You know the uh, the terminologies into more more um, layman terms. You know, and uh, it's always frustrating, you know, to you know to to uh, you know to be incompetent at making presentations, you know, in front of the actual people. Um, especially if if you make a living by selling stuffs, be beforehand, you had better practice a sound understanding of the products of the services you are trying to provide to your customers, and uh, actually having a script in front of you may not seem like a good idea because once someone sees you need a script to make a presentation in public, it will make you feel awkward for certain. And um, if you happen to stutter like me, you better you better make YouTube uh, video clips almost every day, and uh, don't don't be afraid to look um, to search for ideas for inspirations on the internet in your daily life, and uh, you know even better yet, refer to others YouTube videos. You can. I'm. I'm sure you will find plenty of them, and I'm sure that you will be able to um, to present and to paraphrase them. And uh, everyone knows how to see, how to observe, how to look, and uh, you know how to read. But very few, actually, very few, very few people can. You know. Can analyze, calculate, and uh, present in you know with con competency, you know like a competent person. So, 
Also, do remember that whenever and wherever I make a YouTube a video clip, I don't I, I I don't make them in a vacuum. I I always do my research, make my preparations be beforehand without having to write a long tedious script. That makes you look professional. That makes your video, you know, perform to 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 attract more audiences. So, I hope you have enjoyed, and uh, don't please don't don't <laughs> don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share it. And I, I shall see you on the next episode of Francis and Dead Daily Revelation YouTube video clips. Peace out. God bless.